What we're trying to do throughout Halt and Catch Fire is embed these characters with real humanity and tell stories that resonate with universal values and things that people can really identify with. How many of you desire to be computer engineers? The relationship between Cameron and Joe is really fascinating. Glad you could join us. Joe sees a lot of what he sees in himself in Cameron. Tell me one thing that will be true about computers 10 years from now. You. He thinks she is brilliant. Computers will be connected together across one network with a standard protocol. Like phone lines. Obviously phone lines. It's really simple. He likes her. What's your name? There's something about her. Cameron. He's never seen before. Cameron how? She sees a vision of what computers are capable of, the same way he sees that vision. Computers could be more. They should be. For Cameron, she's intrigued by Joe. I don't think she's ever met anyone like him. He represents possibilities she's never known. <laughs> what is this, anyway? Some kind of job interview? Maybe, maybe not. Depends on you. Joe's different. She doesn't see men that look this gorgeous and well put together and sort of the IBM type come into her classroom. I think they're both very sexy, appealing people who, you know, are not meant to have a sexual relationship. It's sort of the absolute wrong thing, but they just can't stay apart. Her introduction to Gordon says quite a bit, and he's phoning it in. He's not somebody who is activated in his own life. He's completely defeated. He's at rock bottom. He's pretty much given up on life. When we first meet Donna and Gordon, come on. we come upon them at a time of a struggle. They've had a professional failure together. They're still trying to get over and figure out how to pick up the pieces and move on. We see them both a little bit frayed with each other. A16. When Gordon meets Joe. You're my SC for the sales call. He's sort of put all of those ambitions to bed. Fantastic. He didn't think he had another shot coming down the pike. It isn't till Joe throws that article down in front of him, and it almost makes him mad in a way that's, I, I take it at home. I've taken it my whole life. Please don't make me take it from you, too. I'm not in the mood. All right, why don't you go blow dry your hair some more? Gordon can do something that Joe can't do, and that's design this machine. You wrote a treasure map. If you see him around, I want to meet that guy. There's a project I want to discuss with him. And he looks back down at the article, and it's that's the first spark in Gordon. Joe McMillan, we spoke on the phone earlier. Do you mind if I borrow Gordon for one second? He sees something in Gordon that is so unique. I think he sees a man who has the same sense of fight. Reverse engineer an IBM PC with me. Why, what would be the point? Because I want to build a machine that nobody else has the balls to build. Let's turn this thing inside out. Now Gordon's excited. This is the first time he's ever got his hands on the metal in a long, long time. This is Gordon's element. This is where he works best. This is what really excites him. This is what makes him love his life. It makes him feel like he has self-worth. He wants Gordon to know that, you know, you could do this. You need to do this. You've got a gift. You've got a talent. You've got a machine in you that can change the world. That's the machine I want to make, and that's the machine that you need to be making. The IBM PC run by us. I told you. It's a treasure map. It's IBM. Bosworth here. Hi, John. We've got a problem. Gordon just can't really wrap his finger around Joe's plan. How the hell did IBM find out about this? I told them. Gordon can't take the risks that Joe takes, and he's taken him on this ride, which means he's taken him along these risks. We legitimize the project? This is your brilliant idea to save our hides, Barry? No. Joe needs people to sign up. Actually, it was McMillan's. He needs people to sign up for the long haul of this, to make this machine, and not just make a machine, but to make the best machine, to make the machine that no one else has the balls to make. Where are we gonna find this new engineer? What? Great. She's prickly, but she's not an idiot. If somebody's offering her an opportunity to build a computer from scratch and be the head engineer on it in the middle of college, as a woman in a world that's gonna be pretty hard for her to claw her way to the top in, and with her attitude, it's gonna be pretty hard to stay in, she needs to take it. That's every engineer's dream.
When IBM Legal comes at the end of episode one, that's a game changer and a reckoning, particularly for Gordon and Cameron, who got dragged into this not fully understanding what they were going to be dealing with. This computer, this business, is the most important thing in the world to Joe. This fight is the most important thing in the world to him. He is scared out of his mind about what these guys are gonna say to him or what they're gonna do. He knows how hard they fight. He fights as hard as they do. It's that feeling of, my life has just begun. This is it. This is what I live for.